Ohio-based American Electric Power believes there is a future for conventional coal-fired plants. In 2003, it began boring deep holes beneath its Mountaineer power station in West Virginia. It wanted to know if the carbon dioxide emitted by this plant could be permanently stored underground to process coal sequestration. In March of 2007, it announced it will soon be capturing a portion of its carbon and storing it in geological formations 9,000 feet underground. It's still an experiment, but it goes a step further than the Kenosha trial. Clearly, the power industry is responding to increasing pressure to decrease its output of carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gas that contributes most to global warming. Once you release carbon dioxide, it's in the atmosphere for centuries, whereas the pollutants that are that trigger smog and visibility issues, they usually come out of the atmosphere in a matter of months. So once you release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, um, you lock in this, this global warming problem. Uh, you lock in the threat of glaciers melting. You lock in the problem of sea levels rising. You lock in uh, uh, more unstable weather.